Hello YouTube. So in today's video, I'm going to be moving along one step further with this ill 30 w and taking a look at the wiring on the back of the motor. So for starts, I'll take this bolt cover off and you can see the lovely early 30s ILG motor with the wide open X-frame casting. And um, you can see the rotor inside. If I give this a little push, you can see it rotating. But what I'm going to be addressing uh, today is these wires are very old and very uh, likely to be brittle. What I'm going to do is heat them up with a heat gun and hopefully uh, it'll soften that insulation enough where I can stretch these out and cover them with some heat shrink tubing. So that's the plan. Um, and I just want to separate all these joints. I don't know exactly how they're joined together in here, but it's wrapped with friction tape. So that'll be very interesting to see. And um, I'll probably, eventually I'll change out this, this line cord that goes through this armored cable. I may even put, right now it's just three, three wires coming to this. I might actually make a control box for this and have all six motor leads go down into the control box. This way, I can actually wire the fan in delta or Y configuration. And I'll have to see how it works, but I should be able to get like a high and a low speed out of it. So that'll be something to try out. And then also being able to wire it like that if I put it in Y configuration, I'll be able to hook this thing up to my rotary phase converter and see how it starts on the phase converter versus my rotary phase converter versus the static phase converter that came from the factory with the fan. So that'll be interesting to see. So, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started here and start taking these wires apart. All right, so here we go with the heat gun. So slowly but surely, as I heat these up, I'm able to flex the wires a little bit more. I don't want to pull too hard or too suddenly on any of them. Because I don't want the insulation to crack. I just want to be able to stretch it out. And I'll soften up the tips here a little bit where the friction tape is and hopefully that'll come off pretty easily. All right, so let's see what we get inside here. I'm just going to start to unwind this friction tape and hopefully it comes off easy for me. So far it seems to be pretty good. Okay, got some kind of tar-like stuff here at the bottom. Okay, so this is interesting. I never saw this before. Apparently, this this joint it has it almost feels like a butyl rubber um, that is. I don't know if it's focusing on the camera or not, but it's very interesting. All right, so um, I'm actually pretty impressed by this. I'm not sure if the joint is soldered together or not, but they've wrapped it with this kind of rubbery tar substance, and it seems like it kept any kind of moisture or anything from getting in there, so that was pretty good that they did that. 
the only thing bad about it is it makes a mess to take it back apart again. But we'll see how this goes. Okay, so um, now I got them all separated here. Well, at least the first pair. And they were soldered together, so I did find that out. And that was actually, if I had to say so, I'd say that was a pretty well done joint for something that was done 90 years ago. Uh, it was still perfectly held together. Very wrapped up, nice and tight. I mean, that was, that probably would last another 50 or 100 years. Uh, you know, obviously the uh, the insulation on the wires would probably break down by then, but the joint was definitely nicely done, so I'm impressed by that. Okay, so now <clears throat> I have gone ahead and gotten all of the wires straightened out for the most part. So what I'm going to do is take these two screws out and remove this separator plate. And once that's done, I will be able to slide some heat shrink tubing over these wires and shrink it down and then put the plate back on and... We'll see how they look after that. Okay, so now um, I have all of the leads covered in the heat shrink tubing. And they do get a little stiff after they cool. But what I'm planning to do is strip back a little bit of the end. And then I'm going to solder on some extensions of new wire so that uh, I don't have to be messing around with this old wire all the time. What I'll do is, after I make the solder joint, I'll just put some more heat shrink tubing over top of that, and then I'll just have modern uh, wire with modern insulation on it, and I'll have to figure out how long I want to make those. And then I'll be able to try some different wiring configurations with this and see how it works. Well, I decided to try uh, rewiring this from Delta to Y configuration and I still have it running on the same original converter and it's doing about 275 280 rpm and we're drawing two amps usually it draws a little over three so I actually kind of like it at this speed it's quiet and it's just like a nice little breeze Okay, well that's all I have for now on the ILG 30W. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. It was definitely a lot of fun uh, digging into that original wiring. I kind of loved it and hated it at the same time. I didn't want to have to dig in and cut all of that apart, but uh, I also didn't want to leave it the way that it was. I wanted to cover the wires with some new insulation and also make it so that I had access to all six motor leads. So it kind of had to be done, but um, it was definitely fun uncovering that original connection and seeing how they did the joints. That was very impressive. So uh, thanks again for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to my channel to see some more ill content. And uh, have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.